Dutch Schultz, a prohibition era gangster, may have buried 150 million in treasure and the majority of it was gold. But he's not the only one who's hidden gold treasures. Here are five more hidden treasures. Number one, the Yamashita gold. Yamashita's gold, also referred to as the Yamashita treasure, is the name given to the alleged wars, war loot stolen in Southeast Asia by Imperial Japanese forces during World War II and supposedly hidden in caves, tunnels, or underground complexes in different cities in the Philippines. It was named after the Japanese general Tomoyuki Yamashita, dubbed as the Tiger of Malai, who conquered Malai within 70 days from the British. The treasure is supposedly made of gold bars, gold coins, gold jewelries, a 24 karat gold Buddha, and a chest of gold. Then there are the accounts that claim the treasure remains hidden in the Philippines and have lured treasure hunters from around the world for over 50 years. Its existence has been dismissed by most experts. Number two, you have the pirate Samuel Bellamy's hidden treasure in Maine. He is best known as the wealthiest pi pirate in recorded history and one of the faces of the golden age of piracy. Those known careers of pirate lasted little more than a year. He and his crew captured at least 53 ships. Pirate Samuel Bellamy was resting in the town of Maine when he was captured and hanged in Massachusetts for his crimes. That's why people believe that treasure worth millions of dollars in gold and cash remains buried there. His loot includes gold coins, gold bar, jewelries, rare artifacts, and other precious metals, and maybe some cash. Number three, Pirate Captain William Kidd in New Jersey. Pirate Captain William Kidd believed to have left a few buried treasure chests near Cape May Point in southern New Jersey. He is a 17th century privateer and semi legendary pirate who became celebrated in English literature as one of the most colorful outlaws of all time. His beginning was a, a flop. August of 1697, he made an unsuccessful attack on ships sailing with mocha coffee from Yemen, but later he took several small ships. Kidd took his most valuable prize, the Armenian ship of the Quebec merchant. In January of 1698 and scuttled his own seaworthy adventure galley. His career spanned several decades before he was hanged in 1701 for murder and piracy. Some of his treasures was uncovered from the Gardener's Island of Long Island, but it's believed that he has more. Among other stories concerning caches of treasures, he supposedly buried, there's more gold, there's more gold, and even Edgar Allan's Poe, the gold bug. Number four, the lost Civil War gold in Pennsylvania. The Union Army was moving gold bars to Virginia to pay soldiers, but along the way, the gold was lost. According to a piece from the New York Times, there were 52 bars, with each 14 karat gold weighing approximately 50 pounds, making the trove potentially worth millions of dollars. In 2008, the FBI received permission to do some digging in an unmanned area, but according to reports, nothing was found. Number five, the burlap sat with $300 million in Virginia. Confederate Ranger Colonel John Singleton Mosby and his band of guerrilla raiders surprised more than 40 Union troops at the Fairfax Courthouse and overcame them with, without firing one shot. Mosby snuck off with a burlap sack filled with gold, silver, jewelry, and more, all said to be worth about $350,000 at the time. That would be millions today. Even though Mosby told his men to bury the sack of treasure in the woods, when he, went, when he sent them back to retrieve it, they were captured Mosby never went back to retrieve the treasure and didn't tell anyone else the exact location of the burlap sack. So it's somewhere in the woods of Fairfax County in Virginia. Gold throughout history has been a favorite asset and it's for a good reason. It's the best store of wealth. It's global and it's timeless. Unless you treasure hunt for a living, I wouldn't recommend you try to go retrieve these assets. Let's do something easier. Like how about opening up a gold IRA or getting some gold delivered to your doorstep? We can help you with that. Give us a call, 877-646-5347, or check us out at noblegoldinvestments.com. If you're interested in investing in precious metals and you wanna to talk to a no-hassle representative that has experience in physical metal, give us a call. Phone number is 877-646-5347. Our phone lines are always open, and we're happy to answer any of your questions.